In this video, I'm going to show you how to create UI Stepper. UI Stepper is very simple and very useful uh, control. And the way it's going to work is um, this. You'll have a, this, a very little um, control with two buttons, uh, minus and plus. And when you tap on one, for example, plus, the value of your um, Stepper will uh, uh, increment by one. Or you can uh, make it um, increment value by two, for example, or three. And when you tap on a minus button, it will simply decrement by by one or two by the value you set. There are a couple of nice things that you can do with it as well. For example, if you uh, tap and hold on it, the value of your uh, stepper will increase uh, continuously. And once it reaches, for example, its maximum value of 10, uh, then it uh, will resume from its minimum value but this behavior you can control as uh, as uh, well as uh, setting uh, its minimum value for example my stepper starts with zero but you can set a different value for uh, its minimum value and the maximum value my steppers uh, maximum value is 10 but I can send it I can uh, set it to 20 or 30 um, so let's go ahead and create this um, um, UI stepper. I will go uh, and create a new uh, iOS application, single view. Next, and I'll call it my UI stepper. Um, simple example, it's called like this simple example. Okay, the project is created. I'll go to a main storyboard. I will resize my view controller to something like 4 inch and uh, the very first thing that I want to uh, find is stepper. Okay, I'll position it on the middle and then I need uh, a label so that I can display its uh, current value and see how it changes. So I will first configure a little bit my label. I will uh, set alignment to the center change the value to zero and stepper uh, if you select stepper and then um, on, on, on the right side panel uh, under um, attributes inspector you can set uh, steppers minimum value to other than zero but I like it uh, zero uh, maximum value let's change it from uh, 100 to for example 10 and here you can uh, make a stepper to um, uh, start not from zero, but for example from one. But I can um, I will leave it zero. And stepper step uh, value uh, is the uh, value that you want your stepper to step by, step up by two or three, uh, for example, or to decrement by by uh, two or three. And um, you can control behavior, but I'll uh, show you a little bit later. So let's go ahead and um, uh, set some outlets. Uh, I will hide my right side panel, open assistant editor. And be because I want to uh, be able to set and read value from my UI label, I need to create an outlet. So uh, hold control button, drag and drop, for example, here. And I'll call it um, status label having status label I can uh, set the value of the stepper I will also create um, the outlet for stepper and I'll call it my stepper and um, I will create one action uh, connection so I will create connection type uh, action and I will call it my stepper um, value changed for example and this function is going to be triggered every time when a user taps on minus or plus button every time when its uh, value changed it will trigger this event um, which we call my stepper value changed and for the type of uh, this uh, um, of the sender we will uh, change we will select UI stepper now connect. Now every, every time when user taps button this function will be uh, triggered and um, uh, one of um, we, we receive a sender uh, here 
and we can now access it and update the value of our label. For example, I will uh, take uh, the, um, the name of our uh, label, status label, and I can change its text to sender current value. Now notice that sender, I mean UI stepper current value will uh, be in double, like one point something, 1.0, and then 2.0, it will be a double value. Uh, and we cannot assign it to uh, a string um, right away uh, and we will need to do a couple of uh, conversions like first of all I want to convert it to integer I want I do not want it to have point something point zero for example and because I still cannot assign integer to um, a text uh, I will um, convert it to string uh, like this so now if I uh, run this um, app on um, iPhone 5, here it is. So I can now tap on uh, one button uh, and uh, have my stepper's value increment by one and I can go all the way to 10 because 10 is the maximum value we've set and once I reach a maximum value a steppers uh, plus button uh, is disabled automatically which is good we don't need to code this behavior and if I tap on a minus it decrements by one and once I reach minimum volume uh, the minus button gets uh, disabled uh, there are a couple of behaviors that you can control from uh, its uh, uh, right side uh, panel here. So, uh, and if I select stepper, you'll see that I can control uh, auto repeat, uh, continuous, or wrapping. Uh, for example, if I um, check uh, uh, the wrap function, my uh, stepper will, um, once it reaches its maximum value, it will resume. Uh, from the beginning, like it will drop uh, to zero and start uh, again, like this. So now, if I go all the way to 10 now, uh, before it was disabled, but now it will continue from the beginning again and continues. Um, no, auto repeat, auto repeat means that uh, when you tap on the button and hold it, it will continuously uh, increment value by one. If we uncheck it, for example, um, and run our example again, this behavior will no longer be there. If I tap on it and hold, it doesn't increment anymore. It waits for me to release the button and do uh, it, tap on it uh, separately. Now, you can also control stepper uh, stepper's property and behavior from source code. Uh, for example, if you hold a uh, control button and then click on UI stepper here, you will uh, go to the source code of this class and you will see different properties here, like uh, whether um, it's continuous or not, whether it auto repeats or not, whether we want the wrapping behavior on and off. You can um, uh, you can set this value. So for example, let's change the maximum value uh, of stepper and let's uh, change the step value. Now the maximum value of uh, stepper is set to 10. Let's just quickly double check it. Yes, the maximum value of stepper is set to 10. So when the uh, view is loaded, I can uh, change. Here's the outlet we've created for our stepper. So I can take this outlet and change it, uh, for example, max value from 10 to, uh, say, 20. And I can change stepper's uh, step value. Now it's a 1, but I can change it by 2. And uh, let's uh, run this example again. And now every time when I tap on a plus button, it should um, step up by two now we have two four six eight and the maximum value is set to 20 so i should once i reach 20 see this 20 and i continue 
uh, it resets to zero so it it works um, this is it I think for this video a very simple and very helpful um, UI um, component uh, that you can use in your mobile applications I hope it works for you as well as it worked for me but it, if it doesn't work for some reason uh, please uh, let me know and I'll uh, try to help you out uh, as soon as I can